Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Uh, one of the most frequently asked questions in my cooking class uh, for my students is what kind of knife uh, should I use in my prepping? I told my student I actually uh, use uh, two knives in my prepping. Uh, I use a 7-inch uh, vegetable chopper and I also use a 6-inch uh, uh, ceramic knife. Uh, to be able to do prepping effectively, having the right knives are very important. The reason I have two knives is because they serve uh, two different purposes. I choose the 7-inch uh, vegetable chopper uh, for prepping my vegetables uh, because it has a uh, better weight balance. It is heavier and it uh, can uh, cut through vegetable more effectively than any other knives that I have used in the past. Uh, I like its wide blade. And you can see my other video on uh, how to use this vegetable chopper with the claw technique for cutting. Uh, over the years, I have found uh, for cutting meat, the best knife is a ceramic knife. And this is the reason that I also have a 6-inch ceramic knife. A ceramic knife is actually not made out of a ceramic. In fact, it is made out of a compound called zirconium oxide. A zirconium oxide is one of the hardest uh, compounds out there. It is almost as hard as diamond and definitely harder than steel, so make it need to be sharpened less often. A most steel knife need to be sharpened uh, probably once every several weeks, whereas a ceramic knife uh, only need to be sharpened maybe once several years. Unfortunately, uh, ceramic knives are relatively brittle and they break easily. Uh, if you drop them on the floor, they will break. I use my ceramic knife mainly uh, for cutting meat, uh, which is totally unparalleled in its ability to slice through meat, as you can see how they slice through these chickens uh, effortlessly. Ceramic knife also can use uh, to cut vegetables, uh, but I, I like my vegetable choppers because I like the weight and the balance, and also I like the wide blade. Uh, keeping the knife sharp is very important, uh, particularly the uh, steel vegetable chopper. It dulls easily and you need to sharpen it uh, regularly. And I usually do it at least uh, once a week. Uh, I use this handheld uh, knife sharpener. Uh, I sharpen it every time uh, when I uh, start my prepping and that keeps my knife sharp. And it's relatively easy to do. It only takes about uh, a few seconds. Uh, this knife sharpener has three stages. Uh, the first stage is diamond, the second stage is hardened steel, and the final stage is ceramic. Uh, when I sharpen my uh, steel vegetable chopper, I only use the second stage, which will uh, give it uh, a home edge, and then I will use the uh, first stage, which is the ceramic stage, to fine tune it. Uh, all I have to do is to pull the knife through each stage about four to five times, and that's all it needed. Uh, if you do it regularly, you can keep the knife very sharp. Uh, if you let your knife get dull, uh, this will not work. Then you will use the first stage, which is the diamond stage, to create a sharp edge, and then you will hone it and fine tune it. Uh, you don't normally need to sharpen your uh, ceramic knife. In fact, I have not sharpened my ceramic knife for three to four years. But however, if you do, uh, you have to use the diamond stage. Uh, the best way to uh, see whether your knife is sharp enough is use the paper test. Uh, take a piece of copy paper and hold your knife on the top and see whether you can uh, slide right through the paper. I always keep my handheld uh, knife sharpener close by and every time when I start to prep, I would just do a quick sharpening uh, with my steel vegetable chopper. Of course, I usually don't sharpen my uh, ceramic knife. I could not emphasize more how important to keep your knife sharp, particularly your steel vegetable chopper. Uh, just a few um, seconds, you can keep your knife sharp every time when you uh, start to prep and it will make your prepping far more enjoyable.